Hey everyone, and welcome to Groove Builders, the show where we create together. I'm your host, Disorderly Cone, and this week I'm pretty excited because we finally hit the 100 subscriber mark. Thank you guys so much out there for hitting that button, and if you haven't yet, it's that little red button down the bottom of the screen. I definitely recommend hitting it. Also this week, I'm pretty excited because we're going to be building the infamous AT-AT -AT from Metal Earth. And for all those groovers out there, this is probably one of the better ones to build if you're just getting into metal model building. Groovers, let's get down to the workbench and take a look at the package. All right, Groove Builders, welcome to the workbench. We have our Star Wars Metal Earth AT-AT in some pretty awesome Force Awakens packaging. Look at that, very cool. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back. On the back, we have that classic Star Wars logo. And then just below that, we have some information on what this package contains. Just to the right, we get a quick little look at our ATAT, -AT, and then just below that, we have some information on how to build our model. More on that a little bit later. Just to the left, we have a QR code that we can scan to get a 3CC view of our model if we need it while we're building. And then at the very bottom, we get a brief look at some other models in this collection. And if you look closely, you'll notice we've built every single model except for our ATAT. -AT. Groovers, let's go ahead and open up our package. We have our instructions. And we have our metal. Look at that. Doesn't seem to be very many parts. Groovers, let's get building. The infamous ATAT -AT is finally in my hands. And Groovers, I am so excited to be building this with you. I've heard and read from a lot of builders out there that this is their first model that got them into metal model building. And Groovers, being how awesome ad -ads are, I completely understand this. I mean, even the team over at Metal Earth have a day called Walker Wednesday, where they go out and find all the cool walkers that were made that week and showcase one of them on their Instagram. So Groovers, if this is your first metal model, Welcome to the club, and if you've been building them for a little while, welcome back. Let's go over the instructions together. Hey R2, can you do the honors please? Thanks buddy. Hmm, you're right R2. It seems that the instructions are a little bit different, but I think it's only regarding the tools. Let's go ahead and use the new instructions instead of the ones that I have, because most likely the group builders at home are going to be following along with that one. Starting at the top, we have that brand new Metal Earth logo, followed by a good depiction of our AT-AT. -AT. Just below that, we have a QR code that we can scan to get a 360 view of our model if we need it while we're building. This can come in handy when we're trying to do different bits of detail, and it may be a little bit confusing to figure out how it's attached on. Just below that and to the left, we have a very important picture of one of our pieces. Now what's so important about this is that it shows you the basics of metal model building, showing you your insertion tabs, your insertion holes, and your fold lines. You will need to bend and twist all of these different parts in order to be able to build this model. So make sure you have a really good understanding of this particular picture before moving on to building. Up next, we have the Almighty Legend, and this is where we're going to find all of our little icons that are sprinkled throughout our directions. Now, not all of them are actually in here, but it's very important that we go over them, so if you do encounter them, you know exactly what they mean. The first two are pretty much the same, but a little bit opposite. They are the engraved and non-engraved symbols. If you see these little marks, it's just really important that you make sure you follow the instruction. If it tells you to have the engraved side facing out, put it facing outward. If it tells you to put it in, put it in. The reason for this is because at the end of your model, most likely when everything is connected, that piece will be showing on the outside. Obviously you want that detail showing because you want your model looking the best. So Groovers, keep that in mind if you see these engraved and non-engraved signs. Up next, we have the attention point, which is one that I really don't run into very often. But if we do see this throughout our builds, it just means that we need to pay attention to a certain part because it might break or it might be a little bit difficult to get into its shape. Groovers, if you do see this icon, just go a little bit slower and everything should be fine. Then we have the all important circles and triangles. And Groovers, these are the most common symbols you're gonna run into while building any metal model. Now, when we encounter a circle, it's very important that we take as much of the tab inside of our tweezers as possible and then bend them down 90 degrees. When we see our triangles, we want to take as much of the tab in our tweezers as possible and then twist them 90 degrees. Now, Groovers, it's very important that we follow the instructions and what they say to do with these particular tabs because not all bends are made equal. 
if you were to bend a tab down 90 degrees when you're supposed to twist it, it might make your model less stable, or at the very end, it might not look the greatest. So Groovers, it's always a good idea to follow the instructions first with the tabs, and then go back afterwards and see if you can hide some, or if you can bend them in another way to make them look a little bit better. Up next, the all important tool section, and this has changed quite a bit from my previous instructions. And Groovers, I cannot stress this enough if you're making these metal models, you really do need a good set of wire cutters. And there are tons available online, you can also go to your local hobby store, just make sure you get some really nice nice fine cut wire cutters because you don't want to have any little spars left on your pieces when you're building. Believe me when I say these little bits of metal can cause a whole lot of headache later down the road. Then they recommend tweezers and needle nose pliers, which I definitely recommend both tools for separate reasons. Tweezers are very useful because they can help us shape our parts that we need and they're very good for grabbing tabs and twisting them and bending them to what we need. Now, needle nose pliers are also really good for bending long pieces of metal that can warp with smaller tweezers. Also, they can be very good for grabbing hard to reach tabs in places that we can't get to with your average tweezers. So groovers, make sure you have a good set lying by just in case you need them. Lastly, but not least, we have the all important parts diagram. You will notice that there's two different diagrams here showing our sheets of metal. Now, one thing I always recommend doing is taking our metal and orientating them to the two diagrams right here. This just makes it a lot easier for us to be able to find our pieces when we need them. Groovers, organization is the key to a good project. I think that pretty much sums up our instructions. Did I miss anything, R2? <laughs> I didn't think so. So then I guess the only question remaining is, what is an ADAT? ADAT stands for All-Terrain Armored Transport, but these metal beasts are also called walkers. These four-legged transports and combat vehicles used by the Imperial Ground Forces stand at a towering 15 meters tall. This, along with their heavy weapons, makes them intimidating, and you better believe they are used as much for psychological warfare as they are for tactical, and resembles a gigantic beast as it moves across the battlefield. The Adat's head carries the main armaments, a pair of light blasters located on the walker's temples, and a heavier twin cannon located just on the chin of the walker. The command crew pilots the Adat from the walker's head, which is connected to the main body by a flexible neck. Whoa, that's so cool. Hey everyone, and welcome back. We finished our ad at from Metal Earth, and it turned out really awesome. I mean, look at that. That is so cool. Groovers, let's talk about it a little bit more in construction. My first point that I want to make about the ADAT from Metal Earth is that all the parts are pretty big, so if you're new to metal model building and are afraid of some smaller parts, this model might be the one for you. That being said though, there's not really a whole lot of add-on detail, but the team over at Metal Earth did a really good job with all the laser etching detail, which makes up for some of the missing add-on detail that I've come to expect with some of the other Metal Earth models. My second point is about the four tabs in the center of the ATAT. -AT. Now these can be a little bit complicated to get to, especially if you don't have a good pair of detailed tweezers to reach up and twist them. But Groovers, they actually aren't necessary to twist if you can't get up there. Just make sure you insert them into their insertion holes and give them a little bit of a bend and they should stay there for the most part. If they do pop out, you can use a little bit of glue and that should keep them from going anywhere. My third and final point when it comes to building the ad app from Metal Earth is I definitely recommend either a doming set or dowel set to help you shape the feet, undercarriage, and neck of the ad app. Now these are of course not necessary and you can always use tweezers to try to get the perfect shape, but it will take a little bit long and you might find yourself warping some pieces. If you can find something around your house that's similar in shape, I definitely recommend using it because it will look a lot sharper in the end using the tool than using your tweezers. With that being said, group builders, let's move on to build time. This little walker from Metal Earth is a pretty straightforward build, with the majority of the time being spent shaping and forming all these little pieces in the feet, and of course trying to get this little center here all connected. In total, I spent about an hour and 20 minutes on this model, and I expect for most builders out there to be around the same. And finally, group builders, let's move on to my thoughts. This little walker from Metal Earth is quite the interesting model. 
You know, originally when I opened up the package, I was expecting to see a lot more parts inside. But when I did see the parts, they were really big which I think is a really good example of why this model is so good for beginner model builders out there. There are some more complex things in here like some of the tubes that might give you a little bit of a hard time. But Groovers, overall this model is fantastic for beginners. You know Groovers, growing up I absolutely loved the original Star Wars films. And seeing these walkers take the screen was probably my favorite part. I mean these guys towered over the battlefield blowing up anything in sight. And now with the new movies seeing the heavy assault walkers, these guys only get scarier and scarier as time goes on. Groovers, if you're on the fence on picking up the walker, I would definitely recommend it. It looks great amongst all of my other Star Wars models, and I can't help but think that a snow speeder might be in the future. All right, Groove Builders, that brings us to the end of our show. I had a really good time building the ad at from Metal Earth with you, and if you guys had a good time, don't forget to press that like button. For more videos like this, hit subscribe as well as we got all kinds of really cool content coming out in the future. Now, I just gotta go hide this ad at before R2 turns him into the Groove Builders cat. Until next time, Groove Builders, keep building! Okay, where do I put you? <laughs>